in today's video guys i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make my favorite kale salad guys it's so good this is a must try i mean when i tell you it's good if you like tanginess you like lemon you like garlic you like um cheese this is the perfect salad so right now i'm just gonna be pretty much just rinsing my kale um in this recipe you want to make sure you take out all the stems you don't want any stems in your salad you really just want the leaves but if you like stems then i guess you can keep it but me personally i don't like it so i'm rinsing up i've got a paper towel and put it inside of a bowl to kind of like help absorb some of the water from the kale as i finish washing it and stuff like that so that's what i'm doing here i'm pulling out my um my fruit and veggie cleaner because i got some fruit that i have to clean too but ultimately i'm just cleaning my kale you can get fresh kale you can get the bad kale whatever works for you i'm i'm using both i have bag and i have fresh kale that my personal trainer gave me um from one of his co-workers so that was great um so here i'm just rinsing off some grapes and some blueberries that we got from whole food y'all they were so sweet i swear whole food has the best little fruit and it's all organic so that's a plus so shout out to whole foods yeah so i'm pretty much done with the kale rinsing and stuff so now we are about to get into cutting the kale so if you guys cut collard greens and you probably familiar with how to cut kale and stuff me personally i don't want it big so i try to cut it up as small as i can just to get some good chops in y'all just kind of fold it as many times as you can and chop 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 away um oh i guess i forgot my bowl so i had to get a bowl had to rinse it out so yeah um like i said i'm just cutting it how i would cut like collard greens or but smaller a whole lot smaller because you know you can leave your collard greens kind of big but with your kale since it's going in the salad you want to make sure you cut it up pretty fine because you don't want no big pieces of kale in your mouth so that's what i'm doing right here so this is the kale all chopped up um everything came out great i mean it was really perfect so now i'm getting ready to make the dressing okay y'all so don't okay do you like olive oil so get the extra light olive oil if you can i didn't have the light olive oil i just had extra version but you want to get the light one because it won't have such a um a intensified olive oil taste it'll be more light so you're gonna need some olive oil for this you're gonna need some cloves of garlic um, you can use garlic powder if you like, but I would say use cloves of garlic because it's give you that more that fresh taste. Um, so you can use between three to four cloves of garlic, depending on how much dressing you're making. I made a little bit too much dressing, but I really only had like that. That's all the olive oil I had left, so it wasn't a point of me making a little bit and then having that rest in the container. I was like, let me just use all of it. So I got some lemons. You want to use fresh lemons. You could use lemon juice, but I would prefer using fresh lemons because it's just, again, y'all, the fresh ingredients makes it pop. So I started um, squeezing these lemons and I was like, wait, girl, you got a, um, you got two lemon press, girl. Go get your lemon press, your lemon squeezers. So it hit me because I was like, Oh, because I, I really didn't want no seeds to go in here, but then all of a sudden something was like, "Yo, <laughs> go find your thing." So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to find my little, my juicer or whatever. So you want to get, so like I said, all the stuff that you want to use for this, you want to use olive oil, some fresh lemons. I use a total of three lemons, whole big lemons. Um, if you could get some nice, if you got small lemons, then you want to use at least four or maybe five. But like I said, I use um three big ones. I want to say you're probably going to use about a cup of olive oil. You're going to use three to four lemons. You're going to use about five tablespoons or six tablespoons of Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese. You're going to use about one tablespoon of lemon pepper, um, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper and that's pretty much all you're going to really need for this dressing um this dressing is also good if you just make it just for your regular salad but again like i said use the light olive oil because it's not because if you use the regular olive oil the thick one the, the real it's going to taste going to be too potent for you so i got my parmesan like i said you want to use like four to five tablespoons of parmesan cheese 
if you can but my thing was clunked up so I couldn't really get that much so this is the gritted one so yeah that's pretty much what I used in this and yeah it was pretty daggone good like I said one tape one teaspoon of black pepper um, a tablespoon of lemon pepper yeah girl the lemon pepper be hitting and then a teaspoon of salt I'm using kosher salt you could use Himalayan pink salt, sea salt, whatever salt you have, whatever you guys use. And then that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this. So you're going to put the top on it. Now we're about to get ready to blend this up in our neutral bullet. Comment below if you guys like kale salad. Oh my God. This was so good. Like I, There's this, um, this steakhouse that I normally buy this from. And I always wanted to make it at home. And I was like, I have to make this because it's so good. But you know, kale would gripe your stomach up because baby, I ate this for like four to five days in a row and baby, my stomach was on a honey. I was like, damn. <laughs> so, so yeah, I just blended the dressing up. It came out great. Everything was, all the garlic, everything was good. So now I'm pouring it over the, the kale. So guys, you want to mix, you want to mix this up real good. Toss it real good. Y'all, it was so good. So you want to make sure all the leaves are tossed in this in this dressing make sure it's real real coated and then you guys you want to make sure that you put this in the refrigerator overnight or you can put it in the refrigerator for an hour and a half or two hours if you want to make you know eat some for that day but it always tastes good the next day oh my god y'all the first day it was good but the next day i was like baby give me another plate of that kill give me another plate of that kill so i got some um shredded parmesan that I'm putting on top right here. So just to give it like a little extra love pop or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I only had a little bit left in the bag. So I was like, girl, just use all of that. I love using all my stuff in my refrigerator. Like, comment below if you guys like to actually use all of your stuff. Because you know, sometimes we waste stuff. But when you use it, it makes you feel so good. Like, yay, I, I used all of the stuff I bought in my refrigerator for last month. Yay. So yeah, I was happy about that. So I'm just tossing it. And then voila right here baby this is the finished product and baby girl this right here was the best kale salad i had some kale salad and i had some of those codfish things that i got from whole food that i showed you guys in the last video but like i said that dang on kale salad baby that was all i needed and girl you can mix it with some pasta literally just get you some pasta won't have it hot mix it with the kale out the refrigerator and baby that junk tastes like heaven heaven you don't even need no meat sis so hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next cooking video gang gang gang